Hello, hello, my name is JJ, and today we're just gonna hop right into the latest Data Studio updates, specifically how you can create a template out of any Data Studio report that you have copy permissions on. And I'll hop into the small, small nuances of that, do not worry. Um, by the end of this, we will be able to uh, kind of show you hopefully some of the nuances behind if you're copying someone else's report, if you are uh, making reports for yourself, or if you wanted to use it as a marketing tactic. Um, I'm gonna hop right into it. So first of all, uh, make sure that if you have not yet, download the cheat sheet. It is freaking awesome. And you get to join the newsletter over on datastudio.vip. It's only awesome content that I write myself and hit publish on every single other Thursday. So, all right, back to the goodies of what we're looking at right now is the release notes. So Google does a terrible job in my personal opinion of sharing what this actually does for you. But basically, in the top right corner, you'll see an icon indicating the data source is used by the report. And to replace it, use my own data and then click replace data. So um, I'm going to show you what that looks like, how it works, and all of that jazz. So let's hop right over here into our Data Studio report uh, in one second. Awesome. Okay, so here is what we got to do. Um, there is the screen. So how do you create a template is the big question that everybody wants to ask. And it's so simple. If you view this report, you can click, hover over this icon and it will tell you exactly how to do so. But basically any report that you have copy permissions, all you have to do is add forward slash preview to the end of the URL. It's going to load up a version that is specific for you that has access to your data studio, um, Data Studio data or data sources. So if you head up here, you can see use my data. Um, what you can actually do, um, so here you can see this is our data source, right? Data Studio VIP dash GA4 dash GDS master. That's what I'm using to create this report. And if I wanted to use a different one, right? So say for example, if you're doing this right now, following along live, um, what you will see is it'll say Google Analytics icon, it'll have a little yellow icon there, and then it'll say use my own data. So if you click on this, you can then select something else, click a data source, and you can hop right into it, right? So that's what you can do. So now the question is, is what happens when you do so? So the problem that we're gonna run into is this, is that one, you have no idea um, how this is actually built. So the community visualizations require your consent, all that jazz. The community visualizations, you don't know how are configured. So here, like I'm using the community visualizations that we've built. Um, so this is like the explain it tool that you can hover over and then it allows you to um, display more information, right? That's what we're using there. But um, otherwise you don't really know, uh, you have to kind of dive into those documentation pieces in order if you wanted to actually know what is happening behind the scenes. That's kind of the first problem. The second problem you're gonna run into is much more significant. <laughs> so the next piece is you're gonna run into is that there's, two pieces to any data studio report. There's the data, right? Which is called the data source inside of uh, Google's ecosystem. And then there's the actual report, which is the visual configuration of that. So what we're doing here is we're copying the template. So the actual visual component of this, we're not copying the data source. What happens then is if we get rid of preview here, I'll show you what it looks like is we then run into a little predicament where if we head over to this wow tab, is, is that you do not have access to these fields because they do not exist. Um, sorry, we're gonna refresh because we took off the preview mode. So here, if we're looking at this, like this is the live data from datastudio.vip, is you do not know what you're doing, right? So for example here, we've got some community visualizations that we've built up, up top, but what is a view? Are you using Universal Analytics or GA4? Um, are you using something else, right? So you there's the default fields, but then if we look down further, like look down here at this, uh, this nice little table here, you'll see last updated. This is not default, is that on um, like the communities, the uh, data source of Data Studio VIP GA4, like we did this custom. So it's a custom dimension, it's a custom uh, tag manager workflow, it's all custom so that we know when this page was last updated. That is a problem for you if you go to make a copy of this is that you're not going to be able to do so because it doesn't work, right? So that um, you don't even have access to the data. 
So that's the problem that a lot of people are going to run into, right? And so even here, right, when you go to make a copy of this, it's going to error. The reason why is that I put a traffic like randomizer, which basically randomizes the actual page views that each post get. So when you copy this, it's going to get a double error. All you're getting is the visual. You're getting none of the data that actually is filling in this report. For example, page category, if I type in pro here, in WordPress, we use something called pro tips for a category. And here you'll see that like in this category, we have all these paths. And then if I type in guide, right, we have other pages. Oops, no, never mind. We don't have guide. Scratch that. Uh, I think update maybe. Update. Hey, there you go. So here you can see the updates that we've got um, that are is a, a category within WordPress um, that you're not going to have access to, right? So that is just something to be warned about, right? Is that you need to have access to the data source if it is something that is not basic. So the problem that we're going to run into, in my personal opinion, is that a lot of agencies and other companies are going to make some basic ass reports. Something like this, right? Where it's like, okay, we got views, we got active pages, we got conversions, and then it comes something like this because you have to know that everybody has access to the same exact fields. And in my personal opinion, which is not by all means Data Studio law, is that the beauty of Data Studio is that you can customize it to the nth degree. Like you can build something that is so customized to your exact needs um, that you can get the answers to your questions and go take action faster than anybody else in your industry. If you're just copying templates, the problem is, is that like you're then going to be um, behind whatever that person is selling you. So that is it, right? So again, I want to show you really quickly what this looks like. If I add forward slash preview, and you can do this as well, I'll drop it in the comments down below. If I add forward slash preview, it's going to pop up here. We can then use my own data. I'm going to select the Data Studio VIP, and I'm just going to select, e, uh, like let's just select a universal, right? This is GA4, but let's just say we selected universal. Now it's going to open up and I hit add, boom. It's going to open up this as a copy of it. So this data is actually just templatized in here. And you can see um, almost nothing works, <laughs> right? So that is what is the problem that you're going to run into. And then if I say edit and share, now we have a copy of this actual report, a new copy that doesn't work. Right, so now all every single field does not work because I built it like that. But, um, and if you click into any of these, you'll see that we then have this weird like thing that's happening because we don't have access to it. So, I just wanted to show you all the nuances of when you do this if you're doing it for somebody else, if you're doing it for yourself, or if you're copying someone else's report. Is that honestly try to build it yourself? That's the beauty of data to do is it's so simple. So again, I don't wanna um, I don't want to ramble. I'm, I'm a rambler, I have a big mouth. but if you haven't yet uh, try to play with it, maybe you find something good on the internet. I'll drop this down below for you to break and then see uh, kind of what happens, right? All right, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully this was helpful and good luck on your next data studio build.